Well, from boards to skis now as we set up for the solo open single ski championship. The gunner's up waiting for an even break now. Very difficult craft to get onto. The starter will let the skis all settle from that run there. Gets them ready and away they go. Flashing blades again as they head out to sea. A little break coming through, but they should all get through pretty comfortably as they get over the first of the bumps. Well, the field settling down, and this race should be a cracker. Well, it's going to be better than a cracker. Uh, Deacon Spicer there from Cronulla. Uh, Dean Gardner from Manly. We've got Deacon Spicer from Cronulla. Doug Idale from Wanda. Shane Dalziel from North Caloundra. Chrissy Bond, the former champion from the entrance. Greg Dorries from North Burley. Mark uh, Clint Robinson from Maroochydore. Mark Frost from Tweed Heads in Coolangatta, Tim McDermott from North Narrabeen, Greg Fratell from the local club North Wollongong, Reeves, Clark, Wood and Roy complete the field. Big talk amongst the ski paddlers is the young fella Clint Robinson, 17. He's won the senior, he's won the junior board and the junior ski this morning and he's going for a big one in this one. Yeah, well, there's Dean Gardner from Manly in the Sky Blue Cup starting to move up the challenge. Deacon Spicer from Cronulla. Uh, Spicer, formerly a Tasmanian, moved up here to contest the Nutrigrain series. And now you can see it's the man from North Caloundra. They won the ski relay the other day, and he's starting to make his move. That's Shane Dalziel. He's paddled brilliantly in the ski teams. They pulled off a victory in that, and he's hungry. He's after it. Spicer had something go wrong with his ski then. You see it check? I think one of the rudders jammed. Well, no, what happened, Darrell, was that the, the, the ski that was behind him, he, his uh, the front, the bow lifter at the front has touched him. It just meant that he couldn't get his blade into the water. Very common occurrence. Okay, Shane Dalziel from North Caloundra now uh, holds his paddles very close to him. He's caught it there. Knocked down onto uh, the North Wollongong boy. That's Greg Fatel from North Wollongong now in second. And uh, Steve Wood from Manly, the former kayak Olympic paddler, he's now moved up into third place. By oh, gee, as they turn to come home, Darrell, they're really going to have to put some pace on here. Yeah, but you watch them use these runs. There's a bit of swell action out behind them too, and they can really motor these boys. These surf skis will run on just about anything. See the pack coming in behind the leading competitor there. You'll see them just lift up, and they really move down the face of these runs. So it's important you've got to stay in the front one all the time. Shane Dalziel in front and staying there, but coming from behind, Steve Wood, ex-Olympian, and he knows exactly how this feels to win, to win these medals. And that two of them are approaching him. Okay, now Peter Clark from Byron Bay also moving up there. There's going to be three in a row. But it's still Shane Dalziel just on the right-hand side of your screen there going for a little wave. It's hot as they come back towards the beach. Clark straining there closest to you now. Steve Wood from Manly really challenging. They're coming towards the drop zone, heading towards a great finish, Darrell Eastlake. Look at this as Dalziel now really puts him along. Once he's got over the top of this run, I think. This is Wood. Wood from Manly. Gee, he's a good competitor, Wood, is he? He's, he's been a tap and relay competitor. He's been with the club in just about everything in the water. Dalziel just coming down. and he, Oh, look There's at him. He came down the wave and got a look at the look on his face. By golly, what a fantastic finish. That would rate him as the best ski paddler in Australia today. He's pulled off a victory in the triple and a victory in here. And the traditional paddle throw. He said, look at that. I am the champion of Australia. And let me tell you, he's pretty happy about it. And he wants us all to know. All right, he says. Let's do it again. Someone put a brick wall in front of him and watch him walk through it. <laughs> 